Hey guys, this is Anon, and I'm bringing the second part of the Accidental Derp Week with the SU-152. Uh, I know this isn't my first video on this tank, but uh, it's one of my personal favorites uh, just to kind of have fun in because the gun is just a blast to use. Uh, I frequently start uh, my evenings uh, with a battle or two in this just because I think it's pretty relaxing to run. Uh, this first pedal is anything but relaxing, uh, but you can really see kind of the power of the tank, and that's why I decided to, to start with it. Um, I talk a lot about talked a lot about positioning um, with the uh, KV-2, and it's equally important uh, with this tank or really any tank that has long reload times to make sure you're in a position uh, to use your gun, uh, but also make sure you can safely reload in between shots uh, because your gun is what's important here. So I'm hanging back uh, pretty far because. My, most of my dis team decided to go left, and so I really need to stay back because I'm hoping they come charging in to uh, save the day because they could come flanking in, but they are moving very, very slowly on that left side. So I'm pretty concerned at this point because I've seen all the red tanks that I might get, uh, might have to run. <laughs> the shot I take there, I think, is incredibly entertaining because uh, it was just a guess shot, um, probably by that VKP, which I think is pretty awesome and hilarious because I hadn't been spotted yet at that point, and he just he did a good job of shooting into a bush that's pretty likely that I'm in. So uh, once my chi refalls and I have basically no teammate support, uh, I decide to completely run away, which is fantastic. I see, you can see that there's two tanks uh, from my team that have started to roll up in the middle, but they are so exposed in, in that middle that they're not going to be able to uh, save me if I stayed. And honestly, if I'd rolled up uh, right there with them, I wouldn't have been able uh, to help them too much. So. Um, as I'm running up here, I'm just looking around a lot with uh, my zoom or my camera, trying to see if there's any shots that if I stop and turn around, I can take them because uh, at this point, this this battle looks uh, pretty much done. I mean, I know we're only down by one tank, but uh, I've got one uh, camping to my right and uh, who doesn't seem to be shooting, and then I've got two tanks that have rolled right up into the middle or in, and put themselves into a crossfire. So uh, I'm just looking also for kind of a late game scenario to make sure I'm in a good spot to, to try and at least fight them off a little bit. Um, go for the Hail Mary shot on that SU-152 because that's the biggest gun left. Unfortunately, miss. Um, I Just as about when I had a shot on it, I decided to switch targets because I recognize the clan name. I assume that Panther is probably my biggest player threat left um, just in kind of a guess so I'd rather go ahead and try and take that shot because also there while that shell uh, was in the air I was in a one verse five situation there for a second so and I can see across there that there's plenty of health left at least on those two tanks and so a one verse five why not here we go at least a one verse four is a little bit more survivable so I'm trying to relocate to the left here a little bit because I know there's at least three tanks to my right uh, and I fig knew there was a Kiro over here somewhere. So luckily I spot him with his gun away from me and I'm just trying to get as much zoom on him as I can before I fire. He had to completely traverse that uh, gun. So I knew I had a second right as the Cromwell comes really, really screaming in here. Uh, so I'm obviously concerned he's gonna get his gun around. Uh, luckily, smartly he turns <laughs> and I'm able to get that fabulous Hail Mary shot in there. I uh, just nicked his turret as I'm starting to pick up salt from that panther I killed. But you know what? Uh, too bad. You were in a one verse five. You were in a five verse one. So get over it. So I'm pushing right because I'm really hoping to flip the map now if I get a chance. And unfortunately, I put myself in this terrible pincer spot where I've got the SU to my right and the Tiger P pushing to the left. Um, I know if I can get an HE round into the lower play of the SU, I can kill him in one shot. So I push that direction really as my hopeful resort here. And luckily. I'm able to do it before he can and now I, I've got really nice traverse and speed so I, what I'm doing is I, it's not a full ring around I'm just trying to get enough lead on him so that when he comes around a corner I can get a shot into him because then I'll get him on reload and instead get the beautiful ammo rack shot honestly at that point it shouldn't have mattered anyway because since I swung around I would have uh, had enough time to get two shots into him before he could kill me uh, but still that was a very very fast uh, come from behind win and and a really nice one and and the SU with that great traverse speed uh, coupled with that gun and uh, that you can really pull off some nice clutch moments in that tank and that's part of why I enjoy it so much so uh, for the second battle here, we're going to switch over to a completely different type of situation on Himmelsdorf. Um, 
because these flat maps can be a lot more challenging uh, with the, the derp guns and, and guns without a lot of gun depression. So uh, you have to play it a little bit different and, and definitely more as a support role. I mean, you should always be supporting in general, but I really don't want to be caught out in the front of a pack if I can avoid it. Uh, and uh, in general, just play the, the, the game a little bit slower. So since my team pushed clearly to the left, I figured with the team makeups and our heavies, they were going to do it uh, no matter which direction I called. So. I just went ahead and set up in this location and switched to heat too because um, if any heavy tanks roll around the corner I want to make sure I can do damage quick and it's the most likely to be able to pen them. I do sling a lot of heat in this tank but it's so cheap uh, that I don't feel bad about it. I mean, you can all but shoot pure heat and not lose credits if you have a premium account so I don't see a reason uh, not to. Um, but AP is nice for guaranteed pens a lot of times. So I rotate when it's they're clearly not coming around that corner. I always like to turn back around because there's a fairly strong chance mediums are going to start to come at you. And that's exactly what happens. And I'm a little greedy with this easy 8 I'm looking for that side shot uh, because it would most likely be a one hit. And since I kind of just have to take it because he was working his way towards cover and, and probably uh, just should have taken the guaranteed damage. But when he pops up, I see that I at least did... Uh, hurt him and so that's a nice little consolation but I probably could have done a better job with it but luckily still kill him in two shots uh, the difference is that he was able to spot me so I have to kind of let the camo reset here a little bit because again my team got really uh, separated this, this is a good point unless you're in a really fast tank and you're on Himmelsdorf and start to flank if you don't run into the team you need to turn around most of the times uh, if you're in a light or a fast medium it's fine so you can go ahead and get that flank but otherwise it just takes you out of the game for so long and that's what those two tanks on the south side of my minimap are doing they're just taking them forever to get back into the game um, so I push forward a little bit now because I see that most of them are to my left um, that the flat panzer shows up and that's a good opportunity to use that AP. I can quickly see that uh, one AP round will kill him and when he shows his side and through that cover I can go ahead and get that kill shot. But back to HE because now I'm on a couple soft targets and I'm looking for that nice big one hit on the Chiri and get it. Uh, Chiri is an HE magnet in this tank so pretty much always going to load it. It'll, if it angles uh, it, you have to be a little bit more careful about how you aim but uh, nonetheless. So now I'm pretty much, uh, my job is to lock down this flank. I'm keeping an eye on my mini map because something's starting to scoot up on the left. I go for the Hail Mary here, hoping to one shot, but I think it actually hit his gun as he turned his, his turret, which that was going to be an amazing shot if it went in, but uh, I'll take it nonetheless because uh, another tank's starting to work on him here. So now I'm just being careful because the M6 has the DPM and the speed if he's got the max engine uh, to get around me, but I also know I can HE his side if he over commits, uh, which he he does come out, but unfortunately I don't get a full roll. And now I've got two tanks kind of charging at me, so I'm just backing up and go ahead and pop that adrenaline because uh, just trying to kind of prolong this as much as possible and hopefully my team can help. Uh, get the M6 and just assume I'm going to lose to the Tiger uh, 1, but luckily my teammate uh, to the right coming through spawn 1 uh, gets enough of his attention and that I can scoot back enough that he starts to ignore me. So I can go ahead and switch to that heat because I don't want to bounce a shot from him and go ahead and get that nice kill shot into his side. So, like I said, I played it very slow, uh, but really, I mean, how many tanks did we fight on this side? One, two, three, four, five, something along those lines. So it allowed the, uh, the rest of my team to kind of catch up and, and support back through. Um, and so that's a lot of times what your job's going to be with those big guns, is, is just to hold the front, hold the line, and uh, try not to make mistakes. If you just roll out to kill one and get and die yourself, then uh, you're not really doing your job. So T29 is the only one left. Oh, loading my HE to kill that nice <laughs> kill shot, and unfortunately, I mean, that's got to be close to a minimum roll uh, with the HE on a good hit, but, you know, that's okay. I uh, can't get a pools every day, unfortunately, and uh, they kind of finish him off there. So, like I said, very different battle. Uh, as far as that's concerned, but really important to have uh, the good the good map awareness and able to flip around and kind of get our team the win there by by holding the flank. So, and one more quick and easy battle, just because I apparently had footage stocked up on this tank, so I might as well. 
Um, I'm pausing here at the beginning. There's clearly not going to be able to go dunes uh, because we only have one light out there. Um, but I'm kind of wanting my team to roll out in front first so that I am not uh, the head of the pack. Um, but then finally decide because they're taking so long I don't care anymore. And I'm going to push forward with the heat because just like I was talking about in that last battle when I set up uh, kind of as the front, if a heavy tank rolls around in front of me, I want to put that nice quick shot into him and roll back into cover. Uh, the mantlet on this tank is very troll, so you will get some nice bounces if they're just kind of shooting straight at you because it's a very large mantlet too. As we start to pick up tanks coming in on the right that our spa had set up and it's probably on the wrong side of the tracks but you know is what it is he's getting spots so i'm pretty sure they're all in dunes so now i'm just trying to push through as quickly as possible uh hoping to get uh some back shots or possibly run into an afk that i can kill before he wakes up uh this is a good time in the battle to do it uh since we're instantly down one and that's when i go ahead and run into the flat panzer which i'm not surprised to see there but also the j panther to my right so the the odds aren't quite as in my favor uh, normally I'd like to switch to an AP round there, but I didn't uh, want to risk not having time, especially because now I pick up that AFK tank. So now it's three versus one over here if that AFK wakes up. So uh, I need to uh, work as quickly as possible and try and beat these down. Luckily the J-Panther is a little more focused on something else, and I'm really just hoping the Tiger waits to, to wake up. Uh, so I'm focused on the J-Panther because while he's looking that way, I know I can HE the side of his tank and have killed three or two quick tank destroyers and uh, starting to equalize the, the match here a little bit. Uh, Tagger 1 stayed AFK, which is beautiful. The heat here is overkill, but I don't want to waste my time at this point because I still have tanks all over the place. And the AP really will give you some troll bounces at times because that's just such a large shell. And uh, just like I was worried about, I now have lights popping in, but for some reason I must have my magic uh, invisibility cloak on in this battle because he rolls right by me and lets me put a shot into his side. Uh, right as now I have a K -re popping, or a Chi-Ri popping up to my left, <laughs> and the Shpa finally decides to, to notice I'm here. Um, but luckily the Chi-Ri goes ahead and runs away, and now we've completely taken control of it because I've gotten those four quick kills, and that's what the high alpha battles game, or, uh, tanks will just do for you. I mean, this is full kind of YOLO at this point, but I'm just trying to farm damage because I figure I'm not going to be able to get another shot in this game. So go ahead and get that nice big uh, thousand damage roll to farm a bit and help the team kind of close it out. So this one was clearly not that difficult, nothing amazing. It was just kind of fun uh, rolling around and l launching huge shells at tanks. And, and that battle exactly is why I start a lot of my evenings with it, because it's just a lot of fun. So hopefully you enjoyed this impromptu derp week. Uh, tanks that are a lot of fun, they will troll you a bit in other battles, but uh, the SU especially I find a little bit more consistent. So hopefully you enjoyed. <laughs>